day trading recap for uh, Friday, September 13th, 2019. So Friday 13th, if you're superstitious, maybe you have not been trading today. Uh, but uh, I had a, a really good day. And uh, so I will be trading every Friday the 13th from now on because it was a really good trading day. And I'll show you those trades later. But first I wanted to show you, uh, I haven't made a recap in a while because I haven't had much to show. I've been testing some new strategies. Uh, most of my trading um, strategies involve later uh, later trades, trades that set up throughout the day and then maybe come later afternoon or later morning into mid afternoon I take a trade I do not like trading the first uh, half hour at all I, I kind of avoid it because I've just never been good at it it's a little too hectic for me I find it hard to find entries and and set up my stop loss and um, targets it's just harder for me but I've studied it more I've been doing a little bit more um, research on it and I'm hoping to expand the way I trade so I can do that first 15 to minutes to to an hour and trade those um, those quick they're really scalps I think most most retail traders that do trade that that um, those early morning hours are, are really just scalping uh, I mean you could take a position that goes all day but you know if you watch a lot of videos online of people that trade that the more uh, early morning they're really just getting in and getting out within a matter of minutes um, which can happen at any point of the day but it's more prevalent in that first 30 minutes because retail traders have control of the market at that time so if you find the right stock and the the right setup um, you can do very well it's just I've never been comfortable with it so I'm, I'm more interested in trades that maybe something like this Cree which I was looking at today is too whippy here not much of a pattern but you can see it had a noticeable opening range here and eventually broke it right here at 1230 broke above and once it broke that and closed above it, see, because nothing closed above, um, technically the first 30 minutes would be right here. Um, and uh, so nothing closed above 51.39 at all. Came close here and then busted. So uh, if you had gotten in here at 51.54 or some, some were close to that, you could have ridden it all the way up past 52, which would have made, made a nice trade, um, especially when you look at the daily candles for this kind of a stock. It's been up, up, up all week, all two weeks, really, for a while. So uh, you'd be looking for continuation uh, in that sense. Um, so these are the trades that I normally look for. These are the type of strategies I look for our setups later in the day. But like I said, I've been trading earlier in the day now, the last three days, and I'll show you um, two days ago one trade that I took, um, which was a marijuana stock. I took it on September 11th. And you can see why I took it. It was it popped up in some pre-market scanner, I think. And uh, the first five minutes, kind of a red candle, but with, with a bottoming tail, saying sellers are trying to bring it down, couldn't. Um, so I got interested because there was another bottoming tail and then a big spike up, and that's when I got in. As soon as it jumped up, I got in at 4.17, uh, and it kept pushing up and pushing up. And then once it got up to about 4.38, I think that's, yep, right there, I took all my shares out at 4.38. And it only really got up to about 4.46, so I didn't miss out on much by getting out there. And then it kind of drifted down the rest of the day. You know, it didn't, didn't really break that high again. Um, and I'm again, I've taken fewer shares just to test this. I'm not comfortable with trades early in the day, but I'm trying to get better at it. And this this was a really nice trade, a tw over a 20 cent gain um, for, for a nice, for a nice um, pop. And I think technically the way I... Uh, set up my trades I always have a stop area that I think I'm going to put down there so I know what my my risk reward is so if I'm risking like a 10 cent buffer here I want it to go up 20 cents but here I think when I got in at 417 I was actually um, my stop was all the way down at about four dollars or 402 so it was about 15 cent stop so I really wanted it to get up um, to about four I think I wanted to get up to about mm, I think it was it was definitely over 447. I, I think it was like 450. I think maybe I had like an 18 cent stop or something like that. So I never actually did that. So technically, in, in terms of my setting up my strategy for this trade, it was a loss because you can see it eventually came down and would have stopped me out if I hadn't exited early. Um, but I played it correctly. I managed it right. So so that was that was a great that was a that was a great first trade for me early in the day, which I normally don't do. I'm trying to get better at. Uh, so two days ago, I also took an early trade, and that was Dean Foods. You can see it was down a lot today. Um, this popped up in a Trade Ideas scanner 
I believe it was this evening scan that Barry Anderson from Trade Ideas put together, and he puts the watch list together that that scan is based on. So you don't even have to do anything if you have Trade Ideas. Just you can just download that list, and he updates the watch list every night, looking for specific criteria for the stocks that it looks at. Um, so this one I got in. You can see a down candle followed by a big, big red can, a big green candle. Um, so I was taking notice of that. Should have gotten in probably closer to here, about closer to two two dollars, but I got in at two oh five. And I just wasn't comfortable with it. It just didn't feel right, so I got out at 210. Um, and I think the reason that this was in the scanner was because it had two big days before um, the day I traded it was yesterday here. here. So I think Barry put it in this, the watch list because it had a big up day here uh, with volume and another big update here. So he was possibly looking for it to get back up to the 200 moving average here, which I was as well. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, so I didn't... I didn't stay in it. Uh, got out, and that was a smart move because you can see again drifted down the rest of the day. Um, so that seems to be the pattern because I traded another stock today, and I'll show you my first stock uh, trade for today. Um, let's see, put that in here. That was Exelon uh, Nuclear Power. I'm pretty sure that they are. Now you can see what how I traded it here. It was. Actually, this wasn't an early trade. I guess this was a 10 o'clock trade. So I got out of that first 30 minutes, but you can see why I kind of liked it here. If you look at this, let me open this up a little. Big down candle to start the day. And I think this popped up in my gappers list because this, yeah, gap down, gap down below the 200 moving average. So this green line is the 200 moving average on a daily chart, pretty significant. Big down day here, and then a gap down. So I actually thought it might actually make a move uh, back up to the 200 moving average. So I was watching it. Um, to see if it would do that and this is a pattern i've noticed before and i've had success with when i've traded it down candle to start the day then it starts working its way back up towards this eight moving average and the 20 simple moving average this is the exponential moving average is this uh, yellowy line and the red is the simple moving average 20. Uh, so the eight and the 20 and when they cross sometimes it, it, it means a change in direction notice it never really crossed and i kind of jumped the gun but it was coming to the, the high of the day, and I, f I felt with this pattern, a lot of times you get a big pop over there, especially when there's a gap between um, yesterday's close and today. So I was hoping for it to get back there. And I noticed, you can't really see it really well here. There's a dotted line, a faded dotted line right underneath where my crosshairs are. If I take it away, you might see it there. That's yesterday's close. And you can see I took out some shares right there. Um, because I was afraid it wouldn't be able to break that. And again, in, you can see that it did not. So I got in here at four, what did I get? I remember what I was talking about, not four. Yeah, 47.66. And I got out some at uh, 47, what is it here? I took out partials at 47.88. Uh, so 22 cent uh, jump, which is pretty good for just a couple 10 minute period here. But it never broke that yesterday close. It rejected it. And tech, and then I took out the rest of mine almost um, right above my entry price uh, for, for break even on the remaining shares. Big drop after that. So it was a good thing I did that. It was a good thing I didn't wait to see if it could have another move up. And then this is probably where you, if you watch this, this little move here, this big drop kind of moves along the eight and then drops. If you got in short here at 47.39, you could have ridden it down to about 47.12. And now I don't know what it's doing, but um, just again, this this was a trade that I kind of played it correctly because if I just held on, I would have lost. Uh, but I noticed that it rejected that. Um, at that point, it just kind of bounced off of that that close of yesterday. So I moved my um, the remaining shares uh, stop right to here. So that was played well. So that was that was okay. But my great trade today was Yelp. I had a really really good trade of Yelp, and I'll show you that. Where is that? Yeah, so, oh, okay, definitely played it really well here. Although it looks like it might have another leg up here. Um, so this showed up in, I don't know what this showed up in. It wasn't a gapper. You can see it didn't gap from yesterday. I think this just showed up in, um, oh, I know. I This was in, I, I was watching this yesterday because of the, it showed up in a scan yesterday, which I do not remember what the scan was. Um, but it had gapped up. You can see two days ago was right here, and it gapped up above the 200 moving average. So I was watching it yesterday, and uh, I didn't play it, 
and I was regretting it because it had a nice um, move after it kind of held the 8 EMA here um, around 35. Uh, 35 and a half it broke through and then it just went all the way back up to 37 really nice tight look at those candles really nice and tight following that AEMA so I was thinking that today might be a similar day or it might do something like that and had a down candle to start today popped up then fell back down again now I was watching it in terms of the VWAP so it was started out above VWAP broke below VWAP regained it and broke below it again but then once it popped above VWAP again, uh, that's when I was said, okay, maybe I should start taking, maybe I should get into this stock because it, 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 the buyers were basically saying, you know, we're not going to allow the sellers to, to drop this anymore. We're, we're, we're taking control. And right here you had a green, green bar, red bar, followed by another green bar engulfing that one. Sort of a red bar ignored on a five minute chart. So I got in. And I waited a little long. I waited for it to move up here till it broke 37. So I had a lot of things going for me. It broke this, this little consolidation area, right? It was above that consolidation area. And it was above a whole number in 37. So I got in at 37.10. Uh, and it moved up. Nice little jump here. And then I took out some partials here at 37.31 for a 21 cent jump. Uh, 21 cent gain and then I took out the rest of my shares almost at the top right now which was was a really good move by me um, at 37.48 for a 38 cent uh, gain so a 21 and a 38 um, and then you can see it kind of fell back down to the 20 simple moving average and might now make another push up but that's that was a really good play I was really happy with that mostly based this was mostly a VWAP trade because of um, the way it behaved around view app that's it's so significant that volume weighted average price uh fell below it got back fell below it again and got back it's only so many times the stock can do that while while maintaining pretty decent tight candle pattern um until you say okay f someone's going to give in and the, the sellers gave in to the buyers and the buyers took control and and pushed it back up to close to the high of the day i I could have held on to some, but again, this high of the day right here, I wasn't too comfortable with letting, waiting to see what it did there, and you can see it kind of rejected it. So um, I think it's going to kind of fall a little bit now, and especially since the spy is down. Um, but that was my trade, and and that and and uh, the early day trade of Exelon were my two trades. And again, I've been trading early in the day. I'm going to continue trying to find good trades for those first 15, 30 minutes. Uh, if if nothing kind of looks good to me i'm just not going to do it but i'm going to play them all like scalps because i'm just i'm still not comfortable with that that early that early period um so i get in and get out early and then i wait for the setups here the setup here if i had been paying attention would have been a, a drop uh, a, a short right here at about 47.50 um you could have written it down about 30 cents but um i played it just as a long so is it those are my two trades so hope everybody had a good friday and um i will hopefully start live streaming again i had my scans up for pre-market live streaming but um again I've, I've had too much going on that i haven't been able to, to even make any videos let alone live stream so hopefully get that going again any questions leave them in the comments and i'll definitely get back to you good luck